White nose syndrome gets its name because of the white discoloration it causes. Much of the disease is still a mystery, but it is lethal for bats, infecting their skin, creating holes in their wings, and causing them to wake up early from hibernation. They lose valuable fat stores, suffer from dehydration, and die. This area where we just have our recent confirmation in Kittitas County is not very far from North Bend. It really is just over the pass. Um, so very close proximity to where we found most of our cases before. Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife Communication Manager Rachel Blomker says the infected bats came from a colony near Cleelum. Biologists came out to, to check out the colony and indeed they counted more than 750 bats there. And uh, the landowner said also that he found these, these bats um, and so he submitted them to us, gave us four bat carcasses to send in for testing. So far, Western Washington bats have suffered the brunt of the disease, with cases confirmed in King, Pierce, and Lewis counties. Those habitats on the eastern side are very much more similar to uh, eastern states, and so um, we've seen just huge devastation in eastern states when it comes to white nose syndrome, where it can eliminate up to 100% of a colony. White nose syndrome has been documented in North America since 2006 and since then has killed millions of bats and with them an important part of healthy ecosystems. They provide us free pest control services and so in the United States the numbers are around three billion with a B dollars every year that bats provide pest control services to farmers. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.